so many monsters here. It's creepy. Is this also because of the Centurion's core? No, I doubt that is the only cause. Like the situation at Lewin, unless a core is nearby, monsters should not attack a human settlement in great numbers. Then what could it be? It's faint, but I sense the aura of the demonic realm. Maybe this area is connected to demons in some way. Demons? Before Lord Ratatosk descended to this world, it was joined to Nivelheim, the demonic realm. Eventually, a door was created, and the path between the worlds was sealed. But some traces of demons still remain in this world. Yes, I think I've seen some evidence of that. Then should we try and do something about it? No. The demons in this realm will probably be subdued to some degree once Lord Ratatosk awakens. We should concentrate on what we came here to do. <sighs> That's a relief. I was afraid you were going to say we had to wipe out the demons ourselves. Die, scum! Settled. You did it! Now I'll give you the kiss I promised! What promise?
dragons was right around here last time. Whoa, this place is crawling with monsters too. I wonder what happened to the dragon tamer. I hope he's okay. I think we need to worry about ourselves right now. Here he comes! dragons left here. Maybe they flew away. Or maybe they got eaten by all these monsters. I can hear it. Hear what? A dragon. Flying. I don't hear anything. Dragon! She's thanking us for avenging him. Avenging who? Are you saying that the dragon tamer is dead? No, apparently the tamer was able to get away safely. It seems that she's thanking us for avenging the death of her father, who was eaten by those monsters we just fought. Poor thing. She says that she would like to repay us. Even a young winged dragon would be effective against the Garuda. How should we proceed? I'm not comfortable asking her to fight in battle, but if she's okay with it... She's agreed to help us. Great! Thank you, little one! All right, let's go back to Asgard. This place gives me the creeps. cuter when you were young, doggy. I am not a puppy. However, I may not look it now, but during my childhood, the monsters in my neighborhood often discussed my level of cuteness. As a button, I believe, was the consensus. See? I knew it! Do centurions even have childhoods? Or do monsters have neighborhoods, for that matter? Forgive me. I was just jealous of the baby dragon getting all the attention. question? You sound serious. What is it? Answer truthfully. Who do you like more, me or Colette? What are you talking about? Just answer! I... well, that is... Tenebrae, what should I say? You mean to say you like me best of all? I must admit I'm stunned. Th that's not fair, Tenebrae! 
I won't let you steal him from me. <laughs> this is starting to get old. Before we go to the stone dais, I have a proposal. Oh? Well, what is it, doggy? I am a centurion. Centurion Tenebrae. Oh, right. I'm sorry, Tenebi. Our winged friend is still too young and weak to deliver much damage if we attack the Garuda head on. What should we do? We could use a decoy to lure out the Garuda and distract it, then have the dragon strike it from behind. A decoy? Who's gonna do that? I'm not really up to... I'll do it. Clint, you're too clumsy. I'll do it. I I'm not clumsy. And I'm pretty tough. I'll do it. No, I'll do it. Enough! I'll do it. I can't let a girl be a decoy and hide. Emil, that may not be a good idea. I really don't want to, but there's no other choice. You do that for me? Thank you! You really are my prince! I know you can do it. Just believe in yourself. How come they don't fight when I volunteer? All right then. Emil, please get on the stone dais to draw out the Garuda. Make sure to give us some sort of signal when we should make our move. Okay. Let's go to the stone dais.
Are you okay? Emil? It's not his fault. I know they're not trying to rub it in, but still. has disappeared. Now's your chance. was so 
such a dangerous enemy, but your timing was great! You're my hero! Good job! Now the strong gusts should die down. That was nothing. Though it's rather strange, the Garuda is not aggressive by nature. I thought it would flee once its protective membrane was damaged. Wait! Something's coming! What happened? I thought we defeated it! One moment. The young dragon is saying something. She feels like the stone dais is calling to her. What does that mean? It appears something inside the stone dais is drawing monsters to it. Perhaps the reason I can't perceive it myself is because it's targeting monsters of elements other than my own. Inside the stone dais? But it just looks like a normal platform to me. Aisha's brother knows a lot about the stone dais. Let's ask him about it. Good idea. Let's go. Those two have really hit it off, huh? It seems that amidst all the frenzy, Lady Marta has completely forgotten her animosity. A rather fortunate development. Yeah, definitely. What happened in Palma Costa was terrible, but Colette herself is a good person. before, right? Yes. I visited this place numerous times during the journey of world regeneration. We had an incident with a monster called Windmaster who was posing as the summoned spirit of wind. Do you think any monsters will show up now? Oh, don't worry. We defeated Windmaster. Oh, okay. Are you frightened, Emil? Not a chance. He just can't help but feel sorry for his opponents, no matter what they might be. You were thinking it'd be better for the monsters if you didn't have to fight them, right? You're so sweet, Emil. <laughs> yeah. Should I say something? She read into that way too much. One. Liner, it's been a while. I heard you were investigating those strong winds. Between that and the incident two years ago, I'm afraid we've caused you nothing but trouble. What happened? I was offered up as a sacrifice to the fake summoned spirit of wind, but the Chosen saved me. Oh yeah, the mayor mentioned that. That certainly brings back memories. If Lloyd hadn't disarmed that breaker... And that teacher kicked us around. Hey, how's Lloyd doing these days? I heard some ugly rumors, but I'm sure they're just misunderstandings. Lloyd... We haven't been able to track him down, but... Lloyd wouldn't do anything bad. That's a lie! Lloyd killed my parents! Emil... Hey, let's just take it easy now. Uh, so was there something you needed? Ah, uh, yes. I wanted to ask you about the stone dais. You see... Inside the stone dais would mean underneath it. 
Our studies have led us to believe some sort of facility lies below. Liner, what if we perform the Maiden Ritual? The Maiden Ritual calls on the Summoned Spirit of Wind, right? It is said that the ritual signifies the opening of a door. I'll perform it. It's too dangerous. There are flying monsters around there. Then I'll do it. Don't worry, I can take care of myself. Please, show us how the ritual is performed. Marta! Chosen one, Emil, please wait for us at the inn. Liner and Harley, you two will need to leave as well. Emil, can I ask you something? What is it? Is it about Lloyd? Are you some sort of maniac, too? I mean, when you get into battle, you become a totally different person. I have a friend who's really into old ruins, and she's the same way. People call her a maniac. According to Tenebrae, it's because Ratatosk's power has taken hold of me. What's Ratatosk? Oh, right. Tenebrae, can you help me out here? I'm surprised she hasn't asked about it before. Well, shall we tell her the story of our journey? Yeah. Then we'll talk at the inn, since it's rather long. So, Colette, just what does going into ruin mode involve? Well, let's see. Oh, it's the Asgard ruins! Emil, state the historical background of this ruin. Uh, um, I... When Cleo III held a ritual to offer a sacrifice to the summoned spirit of wind to quell a storm that had ravaged his kingdom for a week, he did it here! Ugh! Have you learned anything in all these past five years? I'd say that about sums it up. That was sort of terrifying. Really? It's actually quite fun. I can't wait for you to see the real thing. It all began with the withering of the giant Carlon tree. Lord Ratatosk was the guardian of the otherworldly gate, which connected worlds through the giant Carlon tree. So he was the guardian of the giant tree as well. He employed centurions to distribute mana and maintain the balance of the giant tree and the world by using monsters. Until the ancient war caused the giant tree to wilt. The way I heard it, the giant tree dried up during the ancient war, causing Mana to run out. That almost destroyed the world, so Mythos the hero borrowed the goddess Martel's power to split the world into two. Right. Mythos did that to protect the world. But then, after many years passed, he learned that a new Mana-bearing tree would be born. And then, well, a lot of things happened, but eventually a new world tree was born and the worlds became one again. That was... The world regeneration. In the time between the withering of the first tree and the birth of the new one, Lord Ratatosk along with the eight centurions became dormant. Now that the world had regenerated, it was finally time for us to awaken. 
However, a faction within the Vanguard planned to abuse Lord Ratatosk's power. To prevent that from happening, I ran away with Ratatosk's core. Marta! You were explaining everything to Colette? Yeah. Was that a bad idea? No, it's okay. I mean, I still blame Colette for my mother's death. But now I know she's not a bad person. Marta! Allow me to continue. In order to wake Lord Ratatosk from his slumber... I see. So you're looking for the Centurion's cores in order to wake Mr. Ratatosk. So Ratatosk's not a maniac after all. A maniac? <laughs> Don't worry about it. So what do you think Ratatosk will do when he wakes up? He'll put a stop to all the strange weather we've been having and restore the balance of mana. Right. But the world tree we have right now already has Goddess Martell. Oh, the tree Ratatosk protected is gone now. Couldn't he protect it together with the goddess? Good point. They could both work together to protect it. Lady Marta, is the ritual ready? I'm all set. Ready to go whenever. Okay, let's head back to the stone dais then. Okay. Hey, Marta, about the ritual? Don't talk to me right now, I'll forget it! Oh, sorry. <gasps> no, no, I'm sorry! I, I didn't mean... Don't hate me or anything, okay? No, I... Lady Marta, how are the preparations for the ritual? Um, I think I forgot how to do it. 